So let's take a look at the chords right quick. You'll see here some rhythms. So this first one represents the quarter note. It's about one beat. And then these two notes are tied together. So this will make a note a little bit longer. So I'm going to play this first note and then these two tied together. And then you see this one's short and this one's about regular length. So I'm going to play the first measure here and we have. So we have first note bump and then this one's long bump. This one's short as these two are eighth notes. You can see they're connected followed by another one. So just listen to the rhythm and once you learn the song and get familiar with the chords and the way that it goes after watching the video, you can. Then in measure two. Here it is, starting on the D chord for ukulele. To A, to G, back to the D chord. Play it at tempo now. D, A, G, D. Here's Bad Moon Rising on the guitar. So we'll start with the D chord. To the A chord. To a G chord. Okay, let's take a look at our next tunes that we have. These two songs are spy themed type songs. You may have heard Secret Agent Man by Johnny Rivers. It's a great guitar riff for beginners because it's easy to play and it sounds really cool. It also can help us use skipping between strings and you'll see this line right here from the first fret to the second fret and so that line represents a slide a slide is where you would push down on the first fret of this note keep your finger pushed down and then after you pluck the note you keep squeezing the note and then you slide it or move it up to the second fret let me demonstrate so index finger first fret on the E string I'm going to pluck it and I'm going to keep squeezing this finger down I'm not going to let go of that finger I'm going to keep it down and then slide it up so it creates this sound so I'm only plucking it one time but then I'm sliding up to it so here's Secret Agent Man on ukulele four times I'm going to show you secret agent man tabs for the guitar so you see it's on your B string and your E string. Okay, do we have another person join us? Nope. <laughs> Thought we might have got lucky. All right, so Max, remember when you're reading tabs, you've got your low E string, E, one that's closest to your face, A, D, G. 
that takes us to the B and the E string. So we're on the B and the E string, the bottom two strings for the guitar. And so we've got open B to open E, and we'll do the slide just as we showed on the ukulele. And so when using the guitar, the guitar pick, Max, alternate picking. So down for the first B string, and then an up picking for the E string. And by practicing alternate picking, you probably need to be doing that with everything you're doing except for all the... All the Metallica stuff, right? A lot of that's downstrokes with palm mutes. But for fast playing, we want to be alternate picking, okay? And this is a great way. To build speed by enforcing that alternate picking. Let's go back and we're going to look at the Mission Impossible theme song on ukulele. So keep in mind, it says four times on your tabs. Here are both parts for ukulele, so you can make them both in one video. Be sure to watch the videos, links that I've had, YouTube links, so you can check it out. And uh, here's the Mission Impossible theme song on the ukulele. With drums. <laughs> Let me slow that down for you a little bit. We're on the third fret of the E string. Then I prepare my index finger to go to the first fret on the A string. Back there. Then you walk it up on the E string. So I'm going to play it through four times. And then you've got, you know... We don't have to worry about that part. Veda, when you do this, you know, if you use three fingers, first finger for the first fret, middle finger for the second fret, and ring finger for the third fret, then you don't have to try and move around one finger all over the place, right? You've got a third finger, your ring finger that's always going to play the third fret. So your first finger can play, and then this one would play third fret. And then when we go to that next part, see they're already there. One, two, three, as we saw on the tabs. Four times three. Here's secret H or Mission Impossible theme song for guitar. So an important thing to note here, Max, for the guitar, is that this Mission Impossible theme song is on the E and the A strings. Hopefully you've memorized the names of these strings. If not, remember Elvis 8 Dynamite, Goodbye Elvis. So we're starting on the third fret of the low E string. look at our final two tabs that we have which are your graded assignments please keep in mind max as i've already mentioned this to beta um first all of your previous grading period assignments have been moved so that there's still access to them but um you know these are no longer assignments that are being graded however up here at the top you'll see 
current assignments due in capital letters for your second grading period so you can find it as soon as you go to the classwork section. Also be aware that work that is turned in late loses one point per school day. So these assignments are all three of them are due on November 6th, which is a week from this Friday. Let's take a look at our last one, but the uh, maximum amount of point deductions will be um, 20 points maximum. So, so make sure you get your work done in time because if it's 20 days late and you've lost 20 points for it, I mean, you won't lose any more than that, but it, at that point, you may even be close to the end of the grading period and uh, zeros are permanent at that point. So. so here's a great song by Roy Orbison, 1966, Pretty Woman. Let's take a look at that for ukulele. Here are the tabs for it. And so, Veda, when you're playing this, this alternate picking concept, remember we're going to hold her fingertip like this. You can also do the alternate picking by down, up, down, up, down. Up, and that'll allow you to play these eighth notes a little bit faster and smoother as opposed to maybe trying to do all downs or even some people try and play with just their thumb and uh, it'd be kind of difficult to try and do all that with just a thumb. So down, up, down, up, and it's right here in the wrist. You're just trying to pluck through and that way, you know, you could pluck really fast. Another thing I do when trying to pick just one string, this works for both guitar and ukulele, but you can kind of put your wrist this part of your wrist you can rest right here on the bridge so that you don't have to worry about like your, your wrist and your hand doesn't have anywhere to go. You can find a place where it's comfortable and keep it there. And then that can allow you to find where your E string is. You could even do it with your eyes closed, right? Let's say G, C, E. So here's Pretty Woman. slide up so I'm on the ninth fret, the seventh fret, and the fifth fret, a lot like beat it. So open E to fourth fret E to second fret A string to fifth fret and then I slide my whole hand position up. And play that through four times. If you can do it that fast, that'd be great. Um, but try and get it to where it flows, even if you don't pick it up with that much speed. Let's go ahead and look at the next ukulele song, My Girl by The Temptations, a really cool group from the 60s. Um, there's This is just kind of the, the skeleton or the roots of the riff, but it, it does much more than that. And when you listen to it, you'll hear it go, uh, you know, let's see. And then it starts the riff that we have with the slide. Keep in mind there's a slide. So it's open, slide to four, index finger on the E string to three, fifth fret, and then high third fret of the A string. Next, first fret on the E, slide from the three to the five, index on the A string third fret up to the fifth fret and the last note is the eighth fret. So I'll play it through a couple times. Here are those two guitar riffs played on the guitar ukulele riffs they're just riffs i guess but here they are now they become guitar riffs so we have my girl for the guitar we're going to start with our index finger here on the third fret of the a string then use our ring finger on the fifth fret and we're going to slide that up Again, alternate picking, very important. Then the guitar goes to the first fret of the E string. 
slide up. Here's both parts together. And finally, a really fun one to play on the guitar, the riff for Pretty Woman. Starts on the low E string. Slow that down. You have open E, fourth fret on the E, second fret on the A, to open D. Then on that D string, we have fourth fret, second fret, and open. If you really want to play this song correctly, you, you go. Then you do that again. Stop on that open D, and then you do the riff that I showed you four times. Pretty woman. You can sing it. Put your Roy Orbison glasses on, Max. Rock it out in your bedroom when no one's there, right? I'm just messing with you, buddy. All right, so we're going to stop our screen recording.